lovely to see you again or to meet you if you're new. Welcome back to part two of my wardrobe clear out. I wasn't expecting to split it into two but there was just so much footage and it took me a very long time that it just it would have been an hour long video so I thought I'd split it up and make it a little bit easier to watch. I'm just going to pick up right where we left off doing my other wardrobe and as per usual if there is anything you see in this video or even part one that you fancy treating yourself to head on over to my vintage. it's just cherry cherry I'll link it down below so you can go and shop a lot of my wardrobe. I think that's enough rambling for now I'll let you get straight back into it. Moving on, we're in the blue section in case you can't tell, which is very limited. It's literally that and this. This is a little set. It comes with like little shorts in there. And do you know what? I think she's cute. She's a good airport outfit, you know? I think I would wear it again, so I'm gonna keep her. Oh, this isn't going well, is it? I've got rid of two things. Okay, one more. I did say one more. Ah, now nah, this next one. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. It is a vibe. It's huge, by the way. It's actually a lot bigger than I kind of want it to be. And it's very thick. It's a nice, like, good quality. It's a Gantt one, okay? Another thing that I got while I worked there. But um, there's a certain sort of element, like, memory attached to it that I'd rather not keep. Is as a reminder of my wardrobe. So, <laughs> don't want to get into it. It makes me upset. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> moving on. We're in our white section now. This is just a basic little pretty little thing hoodie. I think I got this when I went to the casting, the open casting a few months ago. I've literally never worn it. It's just, you know, I, I'm not gonna, so get rid of it. I just feel like there's other white hoodies that I'm gonna lean towards more. Speaking of which, this hoodie, I always tell myself I should just get rid of this because I rarely reach for it anymore. But I got it while I was actually in Miami, at Miami Beach, Florida, okay? And it's one of those like cute little lifeguard hoodies. I just... I can't, I can't get rid of it. I actually got this because I had a mental breakdown getting onto a, a little yacht, I think it was. We we're gonna go like cruise around Miami and look at all of like the celebrities mansions that were on the river. <laughs> if you don't know, I have a massive fear of boats and I get very anxious and nauseous as soon as I even get near one. I stepped on, I cried, I got straight back off and my brother got off with me, the rest of the family, the rest of the 17 of us that there was uh, happened on the cruise. And I said, you know what, it's absolutely fine. You do you boo, it's gonna be a couple hours. I'll just sit here by myself. Luckily, my brother got off with me and he was like, let's go cheer you up. Do you know what cheers me up? Shopping. I got a good few bits that day that no one else got because I had a mental breakdown. Either way, I'm joking, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for cheering me up. Love it. Right, next one. This is just a plain little zip up from Pretty Little Thing. Little oversized moment. I still reach for it, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, come on, let's power through. There's still another bloody rail. This one, my Andrew Garfield, you know it's staying. My Spider-Man, you think I'm getting rid of this? You have an absolute laugh, it's staying. And my Rachel Green, I love her, she's staying. And this is just a little basic pink Gantt one. I actually wear this all the time, so I'm gonna keep it. I need to like chop down the descriptions. I'm talking way too long about one thing. This is a little pajama top technically, but it's really cozy for the winter, so I'm gonna keep it. This is actually my Levers hoodie from my secondary school, which I feel okay to show you now because I'm not there and I haven't been for years. This is what I got on the back, like the fruit, because that's what nine times out of ten I have to tell people how to pronounce my name because they will say Cherie or Cheryl. I've even got sometimes. I I'm like it's a ch ch ch. Oh, and just a plain, like, basic baby pink hoodie. I'm gonna keep them all. It's the baby pink section. Did you really think I was getting rid of anything from the baby pink section? Do you know what? We've made kind of good progress, not really. Next up, my little Barbie jacket. How cute is she? And I've got the matching joggers that I kind of showed you earlier. She's staying. Okay, right, we've got two hot pink numbers and I'm really not sure. I always say I'm gonna get rid of this hoodie, but it honestly is really comfy. If it was baby pink, I would love it that much more. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I, I do occasionally wear it. I'm gonna keep it. And this set, I think I can get rid of. I'm not really obsessed with it. Again, it's one of those, like, it's got shorts with it. And uh, a good airport fit, if you're looking for one. It's just not something I'm going to reach for, so I'm going to get rid of it. We're nearly at the end of this rail. Now we're on to, like, shirts, which I don't have many of. I'm not too sure about these. They're both, like, just basic women's striped shirts. Again, from Gantt. More uniform I picked up. And, I mean, they're cute. Like, I really like the colours. They're very ice cream colours, you know? Am I likely to wear them? thinking maybe I would style them under my cable knits in the winter so I think I'm gonna hang on to them and reconsider them in a couple months in my next clear out because I can't then make that decision right now they are cute this however this has got two shirts on it this baby blue one it's another little Gantt men's one I definitely want to keep this one but this is an old like Ralph Lauren one and I literally I never really wear it originally it was a beach cover-up and I haven't reached for it in a few years so it's time for it to go I know for a fact that I can whiz right through this section because there's no way I'm getting rid of any of these. If you know me, you know that I live in a good cable knit in the winter. This one isn't technically cable knit, but it is a cute colour, so I'm going to keep her. Keep. 
keep, 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 keep and keep. This is my favourite, my baby pink. I actually want a few more to be fair in different shades of pink. They do different things. You'll notice in this wardrobe I don't care as much about the coat hangers all matching. They more or less are to be fair but it's just because no one really sees those ones whereas my main wardrobe that's that's a focal point. They've all got to be matching. Moving on, a couple more Gantt pieces. They were all Gantt, by the way, in case you didn't know. I collected them while I was there because honestly, cable knits, I think, are so cute. Little cardigan. My mum actually ended up getting the same one because she loved it that much. So I'm going to keep it. It's cute for autumn. And this top, surprisingly, when I first picked it up as part of my uniform, I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. And do you know what? It's really, really cute. So they're both going to stay. Oh, oh, this is so hard. Right, we're on to blazers now. This one I never actually wear, if I'm being honest. I've never reached for it. I've never even thought about it really because it just sits in this wardrobe. I might move it to my main one because it is cute and it does fit the vibe. It's the back. The back is so beautiful, this whole cut out thing. And I honestly do want to find an occasion to wear it. I just need to do a bit of tailoring on it. It's buttoned all the way down as like a dress. It just comes a bit tight on my hips. So I think I'm just going to take these ones off, leave it open as just like a normal blazer and wear like a cute little set underneath. With that being said, I'm going to keep it. It's giving CEO Barbie. How could I not keep it? Plain little white blazer. I feel like it's a classic. It's a good thing to just keep in your wardrobe. I'm going to keep it. This one, however, I think I'm going to get rid of. I did debate it in my last clear out and ended up taking it off my vintage but I think I'm just I haven't reached for it it's a linen blazer from Gantt it was another expensive one I think it was like three four hundred pounds obviously I did not pay that I got it gifted as uniform but uh yeah it's just it's not really my thing so I'm gonna get rid of her this is not going anywhere it's so beautiful I can't wait to wear it again in autumn winter like look at that it actually reminds me i need to go into zara around this sort of time when they start bringing these things out because otherwise all the girlies get their hands on them and i don't because these actually had matching shorts with them when they were being sold and for the life of me i could not find them because everyone else had taken them another staple little black blazer that's covered in glitter i think from that glittery blazer i feel like it's a good staple I'm gonna keep it. That blazer actually fits really, really nicely. It like cinches you in at the waist. And finally, I have some bits that would be in my main wardrobe if they weren't these colors. This dress is 100% staying. So, so gorgeous for Christmas time. We've got two dresses on here. This one, I ominard in my last uh, clear out. And then I did a little style, you know, things I don't wear. And everyone said on my TikTok that I should keep it. It's like a little blue metallic number. A few people actually said, oh my God, that is your color. And do you know what? I do think this sort of like navy color does suit me. But it's bodycon and I just don't know if I'm actually going to reach for it and wear it. It is cute. I think I might keep it for one more year. Maybe around New Year's could be a vibe. And this one is like a long little frilly number. I've worn it once. I honestly don't really see myself wearing it again. It was cute, but it's like, it's not long enough to be maxi on me and it's not short enough to be like a midi. So yeah, I just don't see myself reaching for it again. I think someone else can rock it. So I'm going to get rid of that. These are like little comfy lounge trousers from Boohoo. To be fair, they are actually reasonably comfortable. I just don't see myself reaching for stuff like this anymore. So I'm going to get rid of them. Finally, we've got two dresses on the same hanger. This one, it's a little O'Poly, like ruched sort of bodycon dress. It's actually got a cute little cut out here as well, like a little mesh thing. It looks very, very nice on. This was, I think, my 20th birthday dress which you'd think I'd hold an attachment to, but honestly, I'm now really um and ahhing because yesterday I was so confident about getting rid of it. And now that I've just remembered it was actually like a birthday dress, I don't know. Think, I think I'm gonna let it go. I don't really hold that much sentimentality to my 20th birthday. It was, it was not a very happy year for me. So you know what, I think I'm good to get rid of this. Everyone loves to stand a little back dress. It's from Opoly, it's been worn once. I think you guys are gonna like it. And finally, we have this gorgeous little red satin slip dress. It's so pretty, it's from Primark. It was actually a tenner, but it's just, it's quite short on me. And realistically, I never actually wear it anywhere. I just held on to it because I was stubborn and I thought it was really cute. If I'm being honest, it's too short. It's like a top, so. I'm gonna part ways with it, very sadly. Right, that is everything off the top rail. Now we need to do the bottom. And honestly, I think this is gonna be the quickest because half of it, I already know, I don't wanna get rid of. So let's be quick, let's do this. I'll show you at the end, but I'm actually really happy with the progress I've made. I do think I could have got rid of a few more jumpers, but I'll reconsider that soon. I wanted to make sure there was a little bit of room to put some coats in there come winter time. I have a few, you know, black dark coats that don't go in my display wardrobe, basically. They need to be hidden away in here. And I think there's room. Right, bottom rail, skirts, shorts, let's have it. First up, little sparkly number, super cute, she's staying. Got a little thermal like set, this is the crop top. 
and then the skirts under here underneath i just it's not my thing at all i don't even know why i got it in the first place honestly i've never worn it so she's gonna go cute little skirt from zara she's staying and these next three are all staying i love me a houndstooth moment mini houndstooth big houndstooth in the middle houndstooth i love all of these skirts especially this one this is like my pride and joy come winter time not doing great so far and the last one in my little black and white section is just a basic little simple pencil skirt with a slit in it i feel like it's a good thing to keep it is i feel like it's a good thing to have in your wardrobe moving on i know there's a few things i want to get rid of moving this way this little denim skirt 100 is staying it's another one of those amazing like vintage finds it was literally a tenner and it's just it's perfect on it looks so good this denim skirt though however i will be getting rid of another gant piece i got as uniform and literally wore once i'm not really obsessed with it if i'm gonna go for a denim skirt i'm nine times out of ten gonna pick that one so this one's gonna go this is one of my many halara skorts i am obsessed with these they're so comfy and they have pockets under the little like shorts so good for a hot girl walk i i love them i wear them all the time these shorts they're giving mamma mia i wore them in greece actually they were such a vibe a few years ago but i don't really see myself going for them anymore so they're gonna go and this skirt my clueless skirt you know i love styling this one in winter time so she's staying i always get compliments on this skirt every time i wear it still in the blue section but another halara score definitely staying this little set i think i'm gonna get rid of it's got a little like racer style crop top and then this is just like a long sort of maxi skirt that goes with it i wore it to my first ever like proper influencer event with boohoo so it is kind of sentimental but I'm not really going to wear it again and I just think someone else would rock it instead so it's going to go. I've got two of basically the same pairs of little shorts just blue and white stripes they're just so comfy both of these are actually pyjama shorts that's why they're so comfy but I do reach for these all the time they're good airport shorts you know. These I'm definitely going to get rid of I have hacked at these with scissors and like tried to sew the elastic and everything they're just they're not really worth a light so I'm not going to sell these I think I might just take this to the charity shop or just throw them in the bin but either way they're not staying so technically that's another thing got rid of got another little cord i wore this on holiday this year in tenerife and don't get me wrong the colors are gorgeous and it actually is really really cute but am i likely to wear it again i don't think so so i think i'm gonna get rid of it we're doing well we're doing well got another little cord here i wore this one in sicily it is so beautiful i'm obviously keeping it this cord i'm not 100 percent sure on we've got like a really really micro mini skirt that's kind of sheer if i'm being honest and then like this little racer style top i like the top i just think the skirt i will never personally wear so i might just sell the skirt and keep the top sorry to be that person but i really like it next up this cute little skirt that i got in primark a few years ago it's so frilly it's princessy i love it this one I wasn't too sure on and then I took it on holiday. I wore it. It was so, so cute. It's staying. This skirt makes me really upset because I really, really wanted to wear it this year and I told myself I would and I honestly haven't bought it out once. And I think with all the different skirts and skorts that I have now, I don't see myself reaching for it. But it is cute. I think it's time to part ways. It's just not as flattering on me as it used to be. Another Halara skirt, my favourite one, my baby pink. She's so cute. She's obviously staying. This is the one that I religiously wear when I go on a hot girl walk because I have a matching like sports bra with it. So cute. Right, we're about halfway through this rail and then we'll be done. Let's power on through. Let's power on through. I need to get rid of at least three more things and then I'll be happy because this pile, I feel like it's going to tip over very, very soon. Right. This skirt, absolutely not leaving my side. I live in this in autumn winter, it's staying. These shorts, much like the blue ones, I tried to like alter and sort out the elastic and it just didn't work. So there's like scissor holes and sewing bits. It's, they're not worth a light, they're gonna go. This school, if you watch my TikTok, you will know that I went on an absolute rampage trying to find this the day before I went to Italy. So she's obviously staying, it's so adorable. And honestly, Urban Outfitters, if you're watching, you're probably not, but if you are, please bring this out in pink because I, oh, you'd have 40 quid out of me like that. This little school should actually be with my bikini stuff because it's more of like a swimming cover up. As a genuine outfit, it's quite short, but it is cute. So I think I'm going to keep it. I've realised I haven't been looking at the camera as much in these shots. I've kind of been looking past you to my mirror where I can see my camera. So I'm really, really sorry because I get triggered when other people do that. So I'm going to try and look at you. This skirt it is such a shame. It was a cord. Uh, I actually still have the top. I think the top's really cute. But the skirt itself, I hacked at it like look at this i hacked at the waistline because the elastic for some reason like this is my size but the elastic was like why are some things like that i just i don't know the elastic was just ridiculously small and yeah it just 
think it's gonna have to go in the bin and finally with my camel ones this one is 100 percent staying my little cupcake pleated skirt i just i love skirts like this i definitely need a few more this year and even though i'm not a massive cargo girly this skirt again it was another vintage find literally a tenner it's originally from cotton on so cute it's it's so cute it's so flattering i love it right now we're in my white skirt section and there's quite a few here definitely afford to downsize even buy one i'd be happy got a long flowy maxi skirt these are a staple in my summer wardrobe especially this one it's so cute i always get compliments on it actually whenever i wear it so i'm gonna keep it this one again i literally got a couple months ago and i've worn it to death it's so adorable keeping this one i did debate giving away it's another one of those like just long maxi skirts and honestly i actually think i'm gonna keep it because it fits different to this one you know there, there's something different about it so i think i'm gonna hold on to it another halara score this is just the plain white one that my mum recently burned with her iron can you can you see that yeah so that would tell me to fry it away but i'm not gonna this would just be for like rough you know this is you know people have those clothes that they don't mind getting destroyed and dirty ironically mine is a little white mini skirt so i'm gonna keep it for rough when do i ever do rough things i don't know this score is another one of those cute little urban outfitters ones i when, i'm not lying when i say i've literally lived in this all summer from the moment i got it it, it has not come off it's staying just a couple more a cute little white school again floaty very fairy like gonna stay this however is identical like shape wise to this skirt and like i said it's just not as flattering anymore i think with like the other white skirts that i have i'm gonna pick them over this every single time so this is gonna go and honestly in saying that as well it came with knickers attached like on the inside but they were ridiculously tight so small i actually cut them out so i don't think anyone's gonna want that really even though you can't see it i just I think maybe they're better off just being disposed of. Okay, moving on to denim shorts, a few pairs. Okay, we've got these, which normally distressed denim now is not my thing. I hate ripped jeans with an absolute passion, but these I just can't get rid of, okay? It's such a funny story. I could tell you when and where I bought every single thing or how I got it and when and blah, blah, blah. Anything I own, I could probably tell you that. These for some reason, I know they're from Primark because that's what the label says, but I just have no recollection of buying them. They just suddenly were in my wardrobe. I don't know. It's just funny. I always think about it. every time I pull them out. I'm like, I really don't remember buying you. Either way, they're from Primark. I got them literally, I'm pretty sure when I was 16. And uh, they still are just a little bit too big. I've been waiting for so many years for them to actually fit and they don't. But is that going to stop me from wearing them? No, they somehow come out every single summer. They're just my like go-to throw on pair of shorts. I always say I'm going to get rid of them and replace them with a better pair and i never do more blue denim shorts these ones so cute such soft denim from h&m honestly love them i just need to take them up because they're a little bit long for my liking these are so freaking adorable another primark pair with the butterflies are you kidding me primark please do these again because i want pairs in a few more colors please these ones i think i'm gonna let go they are from boohoo i think they're actually really cute like the denim's really nice and soft and stretchy but i just haven't reached for them so they're gonna go these oh my god i have fallen in love with this summer i actually took them up they were like an inch longer i think and once i took them up i lived in them because there was just something slightly off about them and as soon as i tailored them to my perfection i'm obsessed the little like candy stripe thing so cute basic white denim shorts honestly i thought that i would keep these as like a staple they seem like a good idea to just have but i have not worn them all summer or last summer so that tells me they gotta go we are down to the last two things these ones giving safari really cute but i mainly just got them for gant because they were the right sort of style and length and everything and i honestly don't really wear them in my day to day so they're gonna go and these pink ones i did like these but now that i've got the pink striped ones i honestly don't think i'll pick them i'll pick these over them these are gonna go tell a lie the last thing on this rail is actually some uh, cushion covers that are stored like that i don't know why okay we have made a lot of progress there is so much room in here which is great because currently all of my jeans are in a drawer and they're just too bulky for a drawer so i'm aiming hopefully to oh hello to hang them up on that bottom rail <sighs> okay i think we're done this is the final pile let me step back so you can really see it's a bit of a mountain okay now i have the long task of taking pictures of everything and uploading it all to vinted like i said by the time you watch this video they'll either all be up there or i'm in the process of uploading it all but still if you did see anything you liked feel free to pop on over there and grab it while you can i think we did well as always thank you so so much for watching i'm going to try and give you a break from 
doing vlogs for a while because I know you've had loads. Unless I'm doing something quite fun and I want to take you along with me, I'm going to try and go back to like fun, structured, like fashion style videos, which is the whole reason I started posting on YouTube in the first place. Also, thank you so much for 250,000 followers over on TikTok. If you follow me over there, if you don't, head on over there. The uh, link's in my description below. I cannot believe that I've hit 250k. Like, that's literally insane. And I'm currently doing a giveaway as well, which is so much fun. And also, thank you for like 8k, nearly 9k on Instagram as well. I feel like over the last week, I've just sort of everything's been blowing up. And I, oh my god, I'm just getting so overwhelmed. But I'm so, so thankful for it. And we're over 1k on here. So that's also very, very great. Enough rambling. I think this video has already been way too long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. All the typical necessities that every YouTuber says at the end of every video. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. And uh, we'll be tackling everything else I own. Love you.